Well, let me tell you, camera-wise, it has been a freaking day to forget already. These go, it's getting to be ridiculous. These GoPros are gonna have to do uh, something different. We're set up finally, it's cold. It is uh, a little below zero or right at zero. And I am set up in a spot where kind of my main goal is to catch some walleyes. I fish this spot a lot in the summer. It's just a end of a point that goes out into a little bit deeper water in this basin that I'm in. It's not deep water by any means. I'm in 21, 22 feet. As I've been messing with the cameras, I've seen some fish show up on the graph. I'm just waiting to get down there and hopefully pick off some walleyes. So like I said, I think I said it in the last video, whatever, I want to learn some new ways to catch walleyes without using bait. I don't use bait hardly at all in the summertime, at least on this body of water, except for plastics. And uh, just doing a little research, and I've heard that these work. This is a uh, Northland Fishing Tackle Impulse Minnowhead, and then you get the minnowhead hooks with it. We are in a cold front. Cold front is just moving through after like five days of snow, but we've got to deal with what we've got to deal with. So I'm going to get this thing set up. I'm going to start off the day just using a hammered gold. Uh, this is a slender spoon, custom jigs and spins. I do like the buckshot rattle. I've got some. I'm going to probably try some slab wraps. I'm going to probably try a little bit of everything today. So I wouldn't say this is a real easy bait to rig, but I finally got it. So that minnow head just kind of hangs on the treble hooks just like that. And there's a uh, little wire that connects to your spoon or whatever you're uh, fishing it on. Drop that hammer gold uh, slender spoon down there. And we'll let it flutter for a little while and see what happens. Maybe a mark on the bottom, maybe. Will he bite it? Oh, he came up after it. He's coming. Oh, the way he charged, I thought maybe. He is still there. This is the difference of plastic and minnow heads. And actual minnow heads. There's actually two on the bottom. There he is. Oh! He might actually still be there. Maybe not. There's all kinds of crap on the screen now. One good thing about it is they can't strip that minnow head. Let me if I can get him to come one more time. Really? Twice? In a row? Gonna miss? Drag might be set a little bit tight. I get him to come one more time. I think I stung him that time, but he's still down there. Oh, but I might. I might have blown my chance. And they're gone. Okay, so I didn't do something right because he got my hook and my whole treble hook and the whole works off of the spoon. So I'm gonna have to revisit this. But actually, maybe if I put on a rip and wrap or a uh, slab wrap, maybe I can get him and maybe I can get my treble back. Get down there with this war pig thing, maybe if I can, if he's fairly aggressive. I, I thought that hook set actually felt pretty good and it must have felt too good because it took uh, took my treble right off. I should have tightened up, squeezed down a little bit, and he charged up at that war pig. This might be a little bit too aggressive for him. There he comes. There he is. It's not very big. Hopefully he's got that uh, other treble in his mouth. I guess we'll see. It is a little walleye. Look at that, how he choked that little rattle bait. Absolutely freaking choked that uh, War Pig Jr. And he's uh, bleeding all over. Is going to keep him anyway. So I probably will switch. I don't see my other thing down there. I'll probably switch to back to a spoon and because I don't want to be uh, killing a whole bunch of fish because they're too aggressive. I would Really be sad if that was a mid 20 inch walleye there. I got a crappie magnet on a little jig on my new tuned up custom bull whip. Let's see if that's what he's after because it seems like he'll come up the height of that jig that I got suspended with a bobber. 
And that's as high as he'll go. So let's see if I can get him to snap on it. There's a little bit of movement. I can actually just kind of focus on it and work it a little bit. Oh yeah, he like he does like that. He's working back up again, but as soon as that thing moves, he doesn't like it. So we raced up to it when I let it, brought it back down on the bottom, pounded it a couple times, and brought it back up and let it sit. And it's almost like he come up and I felt him just kiss it, but no commitment. Be nice to know what it is if it's just a little dink walleye, but usually the little dink walleyes or saugers, they'll just hit. Try that go down to bottom again. Slowly bring it up. You come right with it. There he, oh, there he is. There he is. Well, we'll find out what it is anyway. It almost does feel like a crappie. Almost. Oh, it's a perch. The absolute best eating fish out of cold water. I would love to sit and catch a bunch of these. Love, 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 love a perch. He's not a huge, he's probably a nine inch or anyway, but he'll uh, go really, really good in the pail. I should have recognized that fight on the way up as a perch. Just that, that uh, thump, thump, thump. But uh, we'll definitely take some perch. It's one thing you come out here fishing here. Well, I'm gonna do this today. And you know, that can just so easily be dictated by fish behavior. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, attempt to do one thing and you're gonna end up doing another. You just totally learn about fish behavior. Slowly lift. There he comes. Slowly, slowly, slowly. So there's another one coming off bottom now. Watch that rod tip. No, he's not gonna do her. It sure is nice when they just appear and smash city, but there, that mark's coming up a little bit. Come on, bigger mark too. Can't feel him. He's there, but I can't feel him. Just eat it. There he is. There he is, nice. It's a perch. He's got some shoulder, definite shoulders to him. It's got to be a walleye. Yeah, it's a walleye. Boy, it took him forever. Nice one, too. Good eating size fish. I wonder if I should keep that one. I'll definitely have enough for dinner, but like I've said, that crappie magnet will catch them all. It'll catch everything. That's a per beautiful eating size fish. Perfect. I think I will probably keep this one because I've been up here for a few days and I am looking for a fish dinner. I'll give him the old slitteroo. And now the only thing that will keep is perch. Let me work him a little bit. I'll call you back. All right, sounds good. Oh, there we go. Talking on the phone. Mark appeared on the bottom. Just kind of sat there and I was like, oh, I'll try work them a little bit. Boy, I lifted that crappie magnet like two inches and smack. He's got to be a walleye, I'm assuming. He's not real big. Yeah, it's a smaller walleye. Boy, he's got her inhaled. No, it's a sauger. It's a little sauger. He's just got that thing just swallowed. Yeah, there we go. So he is not very big, little guy, but that is species number three. We'll let him go. And maybe, maybe we'll get some fish to kind of move in here now. It's what we need. It's been pretty dead for at least 40 minutes. Marked a couple fish here and there and just just can't get them to, to bite. I'll have to say, for as far as plastics today, that crappie magnet has taken the cake. I'd like to work that spoon a little bit more, but I just haven't seen enough evidence to, to see that it's justifiable, other than right away there. I was just sitting there talking on the phone, and I was actually just uh, holding that bait up, probably a foot off the bottom. And as soon as I started to see the, the uh, bottom start to flicker, 
that fish rose, I just raised it just a little bit, and I, I mean, just barely lifted that rod tip and smash. Oh, it's been awful quiet here. Oh, no. So I brought out the war pig and just was been ripping in the middle of the water column on five feet off the bottom, on the bottom. And then after about 30 seconds of ripping on the bottom, he's back again, maybe. I finally got a mark to come up. It's been really, really, really quiet. And he did kiss it, but took it away from him. He is still, he's still chasing, still a little interested in it, chasing it up a little bit. Just get him to not set the hook like I got a whale down there like I just did. Blew that hook set just horrible. It's another one on bottom too. Get that fish to chase. To commit off the chase. I got him to chase and he's just just sitting right below me. He just does not want to see that Babe Ruth uh, swing again, I guess. Don't blame him. Oh, I could have that one back. I just figured I would throw that uh, war pig down there and just try to silt up the bottom a whole bunch, you know, and just get that rattling going, maybe calling some fish to come over and investigate. Just kind of varying the cadence a little bit, letting it sit for five seconds on the bottom and just hopping it and then ripping it way up, letting it sit for two seconds and just trying a bunch of different things here to get these fish to go. It's been pretty constant seeing fish, but just getting them to be interested there's a mark there he is Ooh, this feels a little better nice head shakes i think he came in at my dead stick over there i was just about to start thinking about heading in i hadn't have not seen anything in a while we'll get to the leader a lot of Awful lot of spunk here. Look like a pretty decent mark. I mean, it's not. Yeah, it's an, oh, it's a nice one. Nice spunky eater fish. Got that sucker, that crappie magnet right in the top of the snout. Nicest walleye of the day. Not uh, huge, but 15, 16 incher probably. So not a bad fish at all. Take uh, walleyes li like this any day. And we can snag a couple more. The crappie magnet seems to be the, the go-to. That fish showed up high. He showed up at the dead stick. So then I just raised up the jig above the dead stick. And he uh, he liked that. Boy, if we could get a couple more, that would be just dandy. Like I said earlier, I picked this spot because we're off of a piece of structure. And likely these fish during the day, we got some sun today we haven't had sun for quite a while but we got a lot of snow cover but likely those fish are just moving off of that that structure just to rest or, you know midday or and they're probably out there feeding on some worms and stuff too i mean these these uh crappie magnets has got to resemble a bug of of some sort so it should be just kind of a a transition area for them to to move off of the re uh move off of the point if they're if they're feeding up there or just you know traveling back and forth these fish just swim around just are always on the move seems like just gonna try this uh drop this war pig down there again and smash the bottom a little bit see if anything see if i can get uh call something in again and maybe pick them off with the crappie magnet so it's kind of like the sort of kind of seems like the war pig or the a, a more aggressive bait you know a spoon or whatever not that a spoon is always an aggressive bait but that's more like the shotgun and then the crappie magnet just seems to be kind of like the sniper rifle today Getting down to the wire here. It's getting close to closing time. Starting to lose sunlight. And beans is going to be so cold that we want to get packed up before dark. So if we could seal it with one more here, that'd be perfect. There he comes. Come on. But he is moving up. There's two of them. It's just like they get too much time to really, really take a look at it one is just staring at that dead stick with the crappie magnet on it that's just sitting still oh. i reach over here knocked everything down oh 
he's on. He's on. He's on. I didn't want to catch him on the dead stick, but we'll take him. Feels a little bit on the smaller side. Kind of thought he was staring at it. It is a... Oh, it is a crappie! <laughs> it is a crappie! Not a very big one. But, uh... There is more down there. I'm going to let this guy go. Because we are shallow enough to release them comfortably I wasn't suspecting crappies let's see if we can work this other one come on come on four species come on one more come on totally not anticip I mean I knew it was possible I've caught crappies here before but throughout the day these are acting like very, very typical crappies, too. Look, 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 look. So I'm going to set this rod down. And I'm going to try to get this one down. If I can keep them busy. I'm not expecting to uh, catch a crappie today. They're still there. Such a typical crappie to sit there and just stare, stare, stare at that bait. Follow it up, go back down, follow it up, go back down. Come on, just bite, would you? Just want to get your picture. I'll let you go, I promise. Unless you're an 18-incher, which I doubt. But it looks like they're going to be gone. Back down to the bottom they went. Well, I think we are getting to that point in the day where it's about time to pack up. We're getting close to dark here. It's going to be below zero tonight. Uh, quite a ways below zero. So it's going to be a little bit of a cooler ride in. But I kind of wanted to come and challenge, you know, challenge myself and educate myself and, you know, just learn more now that the bait ban is on up here. The guy still can catch walleye with, with plastics in the winter. And it's definitely going to be a little bit tougher. But I think if a guy gets it, uh, dialed in, honed in, and figure out a good system, I think you can still do pretty well, especially when the, obviously when the fish are a little more active. The crappie magnet worked pretty good. The, the crappie magnet really is an effective little bait for multiple species, as you saw. I mean, it caught pretty much everything on it. But I am going to pack it up, so I appreciate you guys watching. Hope it wasn't... Oop, oop, oop. There's a fish. There's a fish. Not the dead stick. No, he's coming for this one now. Come on. Let's end it. This, let's end it right. Five feet off the bottom. Oh, he hit it. Oh. He hit it, took it up. Oh, there's a there's a bunch that have just moved in here now. Oh, and that presentation is wrong. There's one on the dead stick. There's one coming up after this rod. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big mark, too. Oh, oh, he hit the dead stick. He hit the dead stick. He hit it. They're probably both gone now. They definitely have to get... Oh, he did hit it. The bobber come right out of the water. Definitely got to get this one straightened out. That's the first fish that's hit the dead stick all day. So more than likely they're crappies and more than likely they're gone. Let me get this back down there fast. Just goes to show that in fishing you just never know what is going to happen. And likely that bait is kind of messed up too maybe drawn in this wasn't planned i promise no it's still sitting right so the school must have just swam in this is where live scope would be so handy and i think hopefully the ad revenue has went up a little bit so maybe i can uh work on getting a live scope that fish just nosed it. My, I felt him and he, there he comes. Quicker, quicker. He's at the dead stick again, I think. If I raise this bait, maybe I can get him over here. Oh, there comes another one. What do I do here? Reel up a little bit of slack. And they're gone. In and gone so fast. Well, I'm going to stick it out for just a minute. 
because if this fires up just before dark, I'm suspecting these are probably dink crappies, but oh, one more just materialized out of nowhere. Don't think he's going to bite. He was a looking pretty decent mark too. Come on, fish. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. And back down. Well, I think it is time. It is now officially dark and I gotta get packed up. I have a 15, 20 mile drive and it was worth sticking it out for a little bit for those uh, crappies that totally was not planned. Oh, here he comes again. Totally was not planned. I don't think he's gonna bite. No, he's just back down. But uh, hey, appreciate you guys watching. Hope, you, hope it was sort of semi-enjoyable and you learned a little bit from my errors. But hopefully you can get out and enjoy God's great outdoors and we will see you on the next one.